Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and by popular demand we've decided to make the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 character Ego the Living Planet as our latest Marvel minifigure creation. And he's a good choice because he doesn't appear in any of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets, which was a real shame because he plays a key role in the new movie. However, this did leave us with a good challenge of making him from regular Lego parts, so we have a guide which you can follow in this video on how we made our Ego, so you can add this minifigure to your Guardians of the Galaxy collection just like us. But before we get to this guide, let's start by giving you a brief introduction to this interesting character. Now, Ego the Living Planet is more like a shapeshifter because he can manipulate the matter around him to form an entire planet or a human body to interact with beings, which is what he does in the movie. Marvel have also decided to make Ego in the movie Peter Quill's biological father, so they share many of the same qualities, but they do disagree on how to defend the galaxy. And as a character, Ego doesn't really fit into the hero or villain sections, because as his name suggests, it's all about his self-interest, so he might help you, but only if it benefits him too. So overall, Ego is quite a complex being, and we hope you've enjoyed learning a little more about him, because it's now time to move on to the all-important guide, where we can show you what parts and pieces we've used to create our Lego Ego minifigure. So if we begin with his legs, we opted to use these brown and black ones which we feel add to his rough galaxy adventurer outfit. And if you're interested in choosing the same legs, they're from Tasu Leech who comes in the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon set, but you could just use plain black or brown legs to keep it simple. Now for the minifigure's torso we had a good look around because Ego in the movie wears a Star Wars sort of style tan top that has a belt across it, so we eventually picked this tan rebel torso that's from last year's Rebel Alliance Battle Pack, which we feel is a perfect fit, because as you can see it's the same colour plus has a belt with bandolier printed across it, making it accurate. Moving up to Ego's head, we of course had to give the minifigure a grey bearded face, so there wasn't a lot of choice, but in the end we went for a rarer old Ben Kenobi head that's from the original trilogy Millennium Falcon set, and we liked it because it's got a light grey beard, with happier face which is similar to the Kurt Russell Ego face. But if this head's too hard to find, you could use the latest old Ben head from the minifigure that comes in the Luke's Landspeeder set. Then to go with this headpiece, we just stuck a light grey old man hairpiece on top, which is from the Ninjago character Crux, who comes in the Dawn of Iron Doom set. But it's also available on the Captain Stacy and Doctor Who minifigures. So that completes the minifigure parts, but we're not done yet because we wanted to create Ego's unique cape. So to make it, on his right shoulder we gave him this dark grey pauldron which you might think is an impossible item to find, but it's just an upside down death trooper pauldron which comes from one of the troopers in the Krennic's Imperial Shuttle Star Wars set. And this simple customization trick gives you a second use for the pauldron that nicely adds a bit more fabric and colour to his cape which as you can see is a regular dark blue one that's the same one Wonder Woman wears in the Wonder Woman Warrior Battle set, so together these two clothing pieces give our ego a similar cape to the one he wears in the movie. And that's how we made our LEGO Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Ego minifigure. On a final note, we're glad lots of you guys recommended we make Ego in LEGO form because it was fun sourcing all the parts and pieces to create this unique looking character which overall in our opinion looks right. We also feel that Star Wars legs and torso give him a good galaxy adventurer body, but when you combine it with the cape, pauldron, old bearded head and hairpiece, it gives the minifigure a nice unique design just like the Kurt Russell Ego. And even though our Obi-Wan head choice maybe is too rare, we did try to stick to easy to find parts for the rest of the minifigure, because our main goal was to make him easy to make for you guys, because we probably won't be getting an official Lego Ego anytime soon. So if you like what you've seen so far and want to make your very own Ego, then please use our guide to build one like we have, or take tip ideas to make yours even better, because Star-Lord's Dad would be great to go with the Guardians of the Galaxy team or their battles. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK minifigure creation and don't forget to check out our channel for more minifigure creations and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.